Extreme weather is making headlines this summer and is a very real threat to people across the country. Mary Cochran takes us to Florida, where the Corps of Engineers is working to reduce the havoc Mother Nature can unleash. On the banks of the nation's second largest freshwater lake is Carol's Hair Bar. I've been right here since 71. <laughs> this is Cotton. Now, do you want to leave them long like that? This is Carol, and these... Donna, Francis, Jean, Wilma... ...are not names of her customers. I got caught in one hurricane. A situation complicated by her location. The back of my house, it took the shingles off back there. Carol yeah. works and lives... Right on the line. ...of the Herbert Hoover Dyke. Uh, Herbert Hoover Dyke is about 143 miles, which surrounds all of Lake Okeechobee. Built in the 30s, time has considerably weakened the dike. The Corps of Engineers is managing a major rehab project. That will cut off what we call piping, which is historically damages caused by some of the water that comes out of Lake Okeechobee. Engineers are designing land features and a wall that will run 60 feet below the dike past the limestone layer. The cutoff wall starts right here and runs for about 22 miles all along this area in here. A revolutionary method developed in Japan is on site. It's called a trench remixing deep wall method. What essentially it is is a vertical chainsaw that cuts into the ground. As the chainsaw effect rotates, it mixes the grout with the ground, and that forms slurry wall. When complete, the dike will meet engineer dam safety standards and help protect the 60,000 people who work and live along the lake. Mary Cochran, Pahokee, Florida. The Herbert Hoover Dyke Rehab is the most funded dam project in the U.S. <laughs>